Hi, kids. Okay, on this day in film history for September 3rd, uh, we'll start with happy birthday to Noah Baumbach, born in 1969. So he is 54 years old, the writer, director. Uh, his father, Jonathan, is a novelist that sometimes functions as a film critic. And his mother, Georgia, is a film critic that sometimes functions as a novelist. Uh, so Noah Baumbach went to college. His college roommate was Jason Blum. Uh, Jason Blum would go on to found Blum House Productions. Uh, they're the ones that make all those uh, tidy little horror movies come out every three or four months, uh, clean up at the box office, things that you like, like Get Out, and other things you might not like. I don't know what you like. Tell me. Uh, anyways, uh, he also helped produce uh, Noah's first film, Kicking and Screaming. And then 2005, uh, Noah Baumbach was nominated for his first Academy Award for Best Original Screenplay for The Squid and the Whale, which is kind of based on his life. A lot of his films draw on his life experience. Uh, was married and was a couple with uh, Jennifer Jason Lee for quite some time. Uh, from that, we get things like Marriage Story. Um, more recently, has teamed up with uh, Greta Gerwig. Um, so he directed Frances Ha for her, which she wrote. And then uh, she stars in his written and directed White Noise that came out last year. And then he helped her write the film that she just directed. It's in the theaters right now, taking all of her money. And that is Barbie. Uh, he's also worked with um, Wes Anderson a couple times. I think he co-wrote The Life Aquatic and The Fantastic Mr. Fox. Anyways, happy birthday to the fantastic Mr. Baumbach. Uh, then we'll go to death. 1991 is the death of Frank Capra. So I've talked about a lot on this channel, uh, mostly because I did a whole uh, series on all of the Academy Awards. Uh, so he died 1991. He was 94 years old, born in Sicily. Um, six times nominated for Best Director. Uh, three of those times he won which isn't bad odds. Uh, so let's go through the films that he was nominated for. So uh, Lady for a Day, he was nominated for. That's in 1933. Then the following year, 1934, he wins for... It happened one night, which is a great film. Uh, and then 1936, he's nominated again for Mr. Deed Goes to Town, and he wins that one too. And then another two years later, again, 1938, You Can't Take It With You, he wins that one too. That's three in a row, I think. And then uh, nominated for Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, 1939. Does not win for that one. All these titles, you would have guessed which ones he win and didn't win. You probably would have guessed that he won for that. Same with this last one. Uh, he was nominated for Best Director for It's a Wonderful Life, um, 1946. Did not win. And that did not win uh, Best picture uh the best years of our lives one right that was the year of the best years of our lives um also other notable films that he is known for are things like meet john doe arsenic and old lace um he produced the documentary series for the military why we fight during the war helped uh a couple one of a couple directors that helped uh in the war effort. Uh, there's the documentary and the book, uh, Five Came Back, which is based on that. Uh, he was the president of the Academy Awards for a while. Uh, he also hosted the Academy Awards twice. And um, I believe he was also the head of the Directors Guild for some time. So uh, Frank Capra, big name, film history, especially in the 30s. Um, okay, and then lastly, 2001 is the death of Pauline Kael. Um, born in 1919, uh, she died. She was 82 years old. Uh, had stopped due to, I think, Parkinson's during the end of her life writing reviews. Um, but anyone knows 
anything about film criticism. You can't talk about film criticism without Pauline Kael. I believe she got her start when someone, an editor of a magazine, just overheard her passionately arguing about films. And that's kind of what she's known for. She's known for her strong writing, her strong stance, and being passionate about her stance, whether uh, she is for or against a film. She was very strongly on all of those parts. Um, so she started writing film reviews and reviewing um, Berkeley Radio, and then she became the program director for Berkeley Cinema, and then eventually the film critic for The New Yorker. Um, yeah, she was also the mentor of Paul Schrader, writer, director, uh, started his career early on as a film critic, and um, Pauline Kael um, kind of motivated him that he should make his own films. So uh, there we go, Pauline Kael. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow.